Well, all of the public defenders um, in the film were part of this Gideon's Promise training program. So from the very first day of filming, um, you, I saw all these like energetic young people. And then I just asked for volunteers, for people who might be willing to be interviewed. And all of them raised their hands. Um, and then um, I actually started following five people. Um, and but, uh, one was in New Orleans, Louisiana. And um, I couldn't get access to court. They wouldn't let me film in court. So I thought, we can't really tell enough of her story. And another one was in Mississippi where we had June, and, and June's story kind of came together a little more quickly. And then by then, HBO had bought the film, and they were like, five people is too many. So pick your three, and June was kind of a little farther ahead. I didn't have like a grand plan, you know, like, um, and then when I asked them to participate, I don't think they thought I would be filming for three years. And <laughs> so um, so they were very patient with me. I was certainly nervous about a lot, you know. But I filmed so much with them that I thought they have to be disappointed because, you know, I have like 600 hours of footage um, over three years. So there's, you know, but they never like second guessed anything. I mean, they're probably really unique. Though. You know, when you make a documentary film, you are, it's a very intimate relationship. And, um, you know, the biggest gift that our characters give us is to allow that intimacy. Um, and so, you know, you really spend a lot of time with them. Um, and uh, I, I mean, I, I remember distinctly, uh, like, winding up and I would go shoot and then go home for a few weeks and then go back um, so it wasn't unusual for me to you know say okay I'll see you next time and then there came a time with Brandy and she was like this is it you're not coming back you know um, and I think it's hard for them too to you know they're like oh I've got to do this great thing on Tuesday I'm like we're done you know we're not filming anymore um, but I'm still in touch with both of them like all of them actually June's coming today to to American and is going to be here. I spoke to Travis on Saturday. Um, I, I'm Brandy's, I'm the godmother of her daughter. <laughs> so um, they will always be, you know, I feel very close to all of them. And, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad about that. I'm glad they're, they're in my life. You know, what's interesting is um, none of them asked to see any footage during the filming. They never really got cold feet. They never... So finally, two and a half years into it, um, I had something I really wanted to show Brandy just because I liked it. And uh, it was the first time she ever saw anything. And she was like, Don Porter, I think this is a movie. <laughs> so, um, but she didn't see it until Sundance, the whole movie. So I think that that was a pretty great way to see it um, and Travis also saw it on a big screen um, and uh, they all love it and um, I'm, I'm you know I'm proud of them like they're they're proud of it they go speak now um, Brandy got a job offer like as a result of the movie um, so they you know I think Brandy gave me the best compliment, but they all have, you know, and they said, you know, you really captured our feelings about our job. And um, I, you know, I, I'm really happy that they...